What were you doing that day? I had to um, visit someone. Who? My family member. Were they ill? Um, I think so. You were coming out of the Slauson Super Mall. Don't try to play me. I know the area. So was your sick family member sick in Slauson Super Mall? No, I met someone there. You need to understand what you did here. This young woman is out of pocket, out of time, because you got behind the wheel of a car to go to the mall and go see somebody. Judge Domingo. What does a solid yellow line mean in the middle of a four-lane highway? It means you can't pass it. Exactly. So you were making a left turn, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. But I do remember that day. I guess I was on the left side. On the right side, it was a, a lot of, like, things happening, like cars. You couldn't see the one thing on your left, and you're going to tell me you know all the commotion and the cars on your right? Because I wasn't able to get out that way. You have to wait for the flow of traffic to stop. Just the way that car who slowed up on your left probably thought you were going to make a right turn and was letting you into the traffic lane. I'm going to bet you any money you didn't even have a signal on. He probably waved you in for a right turn, not thinking that anybody in their right mind would go over another lane and then two other lanes to make a left turn. You see, the problem you have is you don't have a basic foundation and understanding of how to drive a car and the proper rules of the road. And Can I show you what I mean on the map? Yeah, I oh. know what you mean. You didn't see her coming. You didn't see her. Because I you were the one her. coming out of the driveway. And if you saw her, then why would you keep going? And by the time you got into that intersection, she was coming through already. It's you, you, you. Whose car is that, by the way? My sister's. Why did you take the car that morning? Because I wanted to meet up with someone and go somewhere. Okay. Now, I'm going to guess you're meeting a boyfriend. Am I right? Something like that. What do you mean something? Something like that? You have half a license? You have half a boyfriend? I mean, what is it? Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's funny to you. All right. The parties then are excused while we deliberate in this matter. Well, I, sort of. I, I think I have a verdict. And I'm going to look both ways before I tell you mine, because that was the only quote she had. I looked both ways. She's somewhat obtuse. I mean, I didn't feel like she really grasped what she's done here and how it could have turned out. So, I mean, the complainant, in my mind, is entitled to every penny she's asked for. I would have even given a punitive in a situation like this. My verdict is clear. I'm with you both. This courtroom is again in session. We have a verdict. It's unanimous. We find in favor of the plaintiff for the full amount that she has been asking for, which is $2,980. Ms. Davis, you know, a vehicle, a car, is in and of itself a dangerous instrument. And in the hands of someone who doesn't have a license or doesn't have the capacity to get insurance to protect other people who might be injured as a result of your negligence, you become an irresponsible member of the community. Had a life been taken as a result of this accident, you may very well have found yourself in jail for life. Do you realize how reckless this behavior was? Yes. Verdict is in favor of the plaintiff, $2,980.